Howdy folks, welcome back. It's March 20th, 2021. And today I have another Gigapan picture for you, but this time we're going with the satellite picture. And I've done some satellite pictures in the past, and uh, actually in the past I was mostly concentrating on dunes. Some of you might remember some of those. And uh, that's mostly what we're going to be looking at here. We're going to be looking at dunes, but there's some other... Uh, really uh really you guys this is a really crazy picture okay and hang on get your magnifying glasses out because there will be some opportunity i think uh for you to see some really great stuff with your magnifying glasses uh that uh, i really couldn't uh, couldn't make any larger right because of the pixels but this is an area that uh, we see this type of area all over Mars. This is a uh, a uh, crater that has been covered with these uh, black dunes. Now, uh, try to just look at the black dunes. There's a lot of stuff in between, but we're trying to focus on the black on the black stripes. And I know that's kind of hard to do because yeah, it really uh, gyrates your eyes around there. But look at these black lines, and up in the top. Uh, left corner you see two of them coming down look at the texture on those lines okay there's a lot of texture there um, and it's on really it's on all of the black lines and this texture I don't know what it is but it signifies to me that these are are not actually dunes there's something else and each dune has a white line that goes along the top of it. And this line is supposed to be the uh, demarcation point between light and darkness. Just like these dunes right here. We've seen this before. Black dunes in the middle of whiteness. Okay, those are not dunes, but they're made to look like dunes. I don't know why they would put black dunes in the middle of whiteness, but... Uh, but these dunes are all over, all over the planet. It took me about one minute to uh, find a handful of these satellite pictures. However they want to color it, um, they definitely uh, spend a lot of time coloring these pictures. They were all so messed up. But the dunes are there. And uh, as I said, they are all over the planet. Uh, there's a lot of people living here even more than we can really imagine, I think. Um, there's more on that coming up. But uh, so it, in these, they cluster these, these uh, dunes in craters frequently. Um, but when you take a closer look like this right here, there's no way that a dune can run one long dune from one end of this area all the way to the other. I don't have any idea how many miles that is. You know, two miles, three miles, ten miles. Uh, there's no way to know. Uh, but I guarantee you, dunes do not form like that. You know, and that's the narrative. They want us to think that, well, uh, you know, Mars is a, uh, is a dusty planet, a dusty, dry planet, and windy, and it's prone to having dunes. And so there's all these dunes all over the planet that are not only like this, but various other incredible shapes. And uh, none of that holds up. Uh, when you look closely uh, at the dunes and all of these dunes, when you, when you have these real unusual looking ones, they obfuscate them quite a bit. So you know there's something there that they're hiding there. So these are not dunes all over. Have you ever seen dunes like this? This looks like a bowl of spaghetti. You have dunes going over the top, underneath. Uh, some can't decide where they're going. Um, yeah, these are not dunes. And so the question remains, what is them? Well, what, what are they? <laughs> they are a construction. Okay. Uh, we know that. But what is this, uh, this white stuff? Okay. Now keep in mind, this is a satellite picture. But when you look at these, uh, these areas of white here next to or in between the black dunes, uh, because of the fact that this is an elliptical picture, we're, we're seeing it from a high altitude and from not looking straight down. 
all of these uh, uh, white lines kind of look like they're coming out of the side of the black dunes, but no, they're just in the middle. And look at how everything is perfectly lined up. All of these little white lines are lined up in rows. Now, people have asked me, you know, are, are there still people alive on Mars? And I said, yes, absolutely. And you know, we have pictures of cities. You know, the buildings are perfect. I mean, nothing's falling down. However, in these pictures, it looks like some of these white uh, structures are falling down or going in different directions or leaning over and that kind of thing. So we're moving off to the right-hand side of this crater, and at the top of the picture, they cut off a, uh, another crater there. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's the same type of thing in this picture. You've got the dark dune-looking things, and then the, uh, the white structures in the middle. And uh, off to the right over here, look at all those uh, dunes, you see. They're mostly oriented all in the same direction. But the dunes are just the tip of the iceberg. They are the really obvious part. What do you think this stuff is here, folks? Look at this. It's a perfectly lined up. Not all of it's perfectly lined up. But I'm here to tell you that uh, what we have here is structures we think we're looking at the tops or we think we're looking at like tiles or something like that but look in the bottom right hand corner here there's a dark area there and you can just see where the sides of these tiles have been exposed and you can see buildings there are are buildings there and in this picture these buildings there's three of them in particular and they're standing out so you can see the tops of those buildings. That's what we're looking at with all these little white squares. But actually it goes down. So all of these little white squares are the rooftops of larger buildings. So when you look at how many of them there, there, that there are, and this entire picture is literally covered with these there's a lot of people living here we're going to look more closely we're going to get right back to that some of these craters they're so busy you can't even tell what's going on but if you look at look at the brown area here and see how it stretches off into the distance very strange and look at the uh, the black lines coming down, the dunes. It looks like they're coming down over the top of a wall or something. It looks like two walls there. Really weird picture. Really, really strange. But each one of these craters has its own arrangement on the inside. It's not just a black hole. I mean, they have got stuff in them like like nobody's business. Would you look at that? Is that weird? This, you guys, this is an a this is really alien. Okay. Um, the way this stuff is all put together and uh, the way it looks and these dunes and these, uh, you know, these buildings that we're looking at, they're not all perfectly square buildings either. And a lot of them look like a trapezoid shape. But this is really alien. I mean, this this is some really strange stuff right here. This is not just some crater. You can see the rows lined up there in that light area. Rows of structures, individual buildings. Some are bent over. And there's a semicircular design here. Uh, on the left hand side of these uh, structures coming down. Maybe it's part of a larger circular pattern. Here's another very strange crater. Now this isn't just some kind of 
growth or, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, uh, mineral deposits or something like that. There's really no way to explain away what these things look like. And what is that in the dead center right there? What is that? It's a long pointy thing and it looks like they've built all around it. Very, very strange. Look at that. There's nothing. I don't care what planet you're on. There's nothing that will look like that naturally. Yeah, what is that thing? Right in the middle of all these structures. And it has a light on it. You know, this this brightness. You see this these areas of brightness. You know, what is that? Look at all the different dunes going in different directions. And I'll continue to call them dunes for until I come up with another term for them. Definitely the easiest term. And all this whiteness here, this brightness. Now in the past, and then the I looked at some uh, satellite pictures, and the, this is always explained as frost. There was no explanations on these pictures, by the way. Uh, but I did a, uh, a video a while back about uh, what was supposed to look like you know, lake bed or, you know, like Death Valley, like the floor of Death Valley or something. That's what they were trying to tell us it was, you see? Yeah, that's what it looked like. But uh, when you look closely, this is what you come up with. You know, that's no lake bed. And those white lines there are is not frost. See how they twist around? Okay, that is not frost. <laughs> it's not a lake bed. Those are structures. And I think this is similar to what we have going on here. But all of this brightness down here, that's not frost. It's lighting. That is bright white lighting. A really unusual looking crater here. Uh, very, very strange. It seems to have like a two dome-like structures on the edge of it towards the top uh, that are also covered with these, uh, with these structures. Now I'm calling those little tiles structures because that's what they are. Those are the tops of the buildings, the rooftops. So yeah, it looks like a couple of dome-like structures. Very, very odd. And more, uh, and, and I could say that over and over, and more of these structures uh, all lined up in their streets. I can literally go on and on saying that. Probably will. <laughs> you know me. Look at that bright light to the right coming in from 3 o'clock. Look at the design on that. Now, is this a, 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 from being digitized or something? Or is that what's actually there? When I take the brightness out of it, you can get definition. I mean, those are those are streets right there. You got one main street going through there. And if you take your time with your uh, magnifying glass and go over these pictures, uh, you will see individual structures, you know, all over the place. This entire area you guys is covered with these types of structures from a distance it looks like uh, reptile skin or something look at those long straight rows I've shown the satellite pictures of similar type things uh, some of those uh, most of those satellite videos that I did are horrible uh, the the processing I did was uh, just really terrible uh, but some of them, a couple of them are pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Now those are buildings where people live. A lot of people right here, just in this picture. And yet this entire 
uh, satellite picture is covered with this. Look at the lights. Look how those lights sprawl out. Unusual. Definitely not frost. And all these uh, dunes, these black lines going in various directions, it's as if they're mixed up. Usually they're all fairly oriented in one direction. And I suppose that's part of the illusion. I was surprised to see, I was uh, looking at the uh, Mars Anomaly Research by Joseph Skipper, and he did a section on dunes. And he also concluded that these dunes are artificial, that they are made to look like dunes. I thought that was real interesting. Another semicircular area here. Look at all those individual little tiles. That's a lot of buildings, everybody. That's a lot of buildings. We've seen in uh, some of these city pictures of the skyscrapers, they pack them in. Look at that right there. Look at that in the negative. Uh, you can really get an idea of the layout. It is sprawling. And there are terrain features here that I think uh, are possibly mountainous or not mountains, but at least tall hills. It looks like they mostly stay away from those, as far as I can tell. Look at them all. In certain areas where you see the edges of these uh, buildings is where you'll see how tall they are. You got to search out those places and you'll see. So I, I'm assuming that this picture was taken at night, right? That's why these lights are on. So there's some artificiality in the coloring or whatever uh, I assume in the picture. I'm, I'm just assuming that. I really don't know that. But uh, you guys didn't think we would actually have a video and not have a triangular craft in it, right? So I think there's two triangular crafts here on the ground. Uh, both of them are a little different. Uh, one of them is very angular and the other one's a little bit more rounded. And, um, you know, I'm just guessing that that's what these are. It's what it looks like. Uh, but uh, there's some strange things about this picture, too. So um, there's a little bit of a question about it. But that's kind of what it looks like. So uh, wouldn't this be uh, one strange place to live. Now look at this grid. Uh, it comes down from two different directions and meets. Uh, the thing about it is though that the structures seem undeveloped. You know, they're not as tall or square or whatever. Now uh, look at this picture. Now this is different than what we've been looking at, right? We've got all the tops of the buildings, but now here's what we have been looking at. This is what we were looking at before. This is an example. And now, now look at this. Do you see the difference? The difference is, is the streets. Here, they're dark, as you would expect them to be. But when you look at this, it seems as if the streets are all lighted or backlit. Uh, very similar to these streets. This is, I guess, a clearer picture in some ways. But what makes all of those areas so bright? 
Is it just uh, street lamps? <laughs> yeah, very, very odd. So it's the same but different. Do you live in the dark street area or do you live in the bright street area? Right in the middle, just left of center, is what looks like some kind of a sphere. Very odd. It's up towards the top now, coming down from 1 o'clock. Trapezoid shapes. And then there's this area in the back there that had brightly lit. It reminds me of Ceres. Remember Ceres with the bright lights on it that NASA said was uh, salt reflecting? So good old salt. So if it's not uh, frost, it's going to be salt. But this is not frost or salt. It's lighting. And it's even illuminating the area around it. And you can just make out uh, some of the squarish structures in the background there. And then some of this stuff is just a mess. I mean, I, I don't know what it is. It's hard to tell. Uh, very irregular. But then you have all this stuff that looks like it's backlit. Like the lighting comes up from underneath. I mean, obviously it doesn't. Dead center. Looks like another metallic sphere. Don't know what it is. Yeah. Is that a water tower? Yeah. <sighs> Who knows? I mean, uh, you know, the thing is, these people have been living here for millions of years. I'm pretty much uh, of mind that this planet, Mars, is completely covered with people. Certainly in this satellite image, and this satellite image is one of six. There's a grouping of six. They all look the same, the same size, same coloring, same material all throughout. I don't even think I need to look at another one of these because it's the same thing. I may, I may not, I don't know. Because you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this picture and the other five. So that is a really huge area that's uh, completely covered with humanity, obviously. And yet we're sending rovers up there to check for life, see if there's any past or present life. Give me a break. <coughs> that really irritates me. How many billions of dollars being wasted? Actually, it's not wasted. There, you're doing something else with it. There's another reason why we're doing that. Certainly not searching for life. Got a pretty good view of some individual rows of buildings here. You can actually see them sticking up. So when you think about it, if they've been living here for millions and millions of years, and we know they have, and I, am I repeating myself? I'm not sure, but you know we've we've seen the buttes, and uh, we know that they've been there for millions of years. Um, so there were people here millions of years ago before all of that happened, and they're still here. And you know, think about Earth. If we could keep from killing ourselves. How long would it take before we completely cover this planet with with humanity? I mean, we've all we've almost done it already, and it's only been a couple thousand years. What a million years? What would this planet look like? Two million, five million, ten million years? I mean, we have to think in terms far different than Earth. These people have been here for a very, very long time. They've got it figured out. They know, you know, they're taking care of themselves. There's no issues with water and food and this type of thing. I just wonder what they do. I mean, what is there to do? Procreate. That's what they do the best. Look at this crater now. Is this not the strangest looking one of them all? And it, you can tell that it's fairly deep and it's lighted down inside. It's illuminating the sides of it. That's such a strange looking picture. And in the negative, it just gets stranger. 
Isn't that the... It looks like tripe. Very, very strange. What a place to live. And there's a couple snapshots of some of the other uh, satellite pictures I was just talking about. A couple pictures of the five. And as you can see, it's all the same thing. Uh, it might be colored a little bit differently. All the same thing. How many people live there? I mean, the giant cities where they're packed in and those skyscrapers and these areas. I bet you there's trillions of people living up there. What a place. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.